Well, hello. Now, in this lesson, we're actually going to be learning something called going off the grid. That's just my own name for it. Because we've done all our coding using a grid, right? We always have a grid that tells us the coordinates that we can then translate into our code. But really, we shouldn't. That's like having training wheels in, in a way, because not everything that we would want is going to fit on a grid that's 400 by 400 and have like 20 spaces, right? We want to start being able to move off the grid and just use other techniques of like figuring out where to put things on our canvas. So today we're going to be learning how to do that. And it really comes around this. So if you look right here, you see how these numbers are changing. What that is telling me is it's telling me the location of my mouse on the canvas. It's a coordinate. So right now my X of my uh, mouse is 193 and the Y is 98. And let's just see if this makes sense. So if I go over here to the bottom left hand corner, See how that's like 0, 400? That makes sense. My X, right, my like my horizontal is 0, and I'm all the way down at the bottom of the canvas, so it's 400. If I went to the corner over here, you'd see it's at 4. I'm sorry, I probably can't see that because of my face. If I went over here, you'd see that my X is 400, all right, and my Y is 2. I can make that, let's see if I go up a little, is 0. So this is just telling you where your mouse is at all times. And basically using your mouse, you can then start programming like where you want things. So let's talk about how to do that. And by the way, how's it doing it? Sorry, there's this little line of code right here. Now, I don't wanna go back too much into this, but Phil is just telling what color do I want something. And then I'm putting some text on the screen. And I'm using these things called mouse X and mouse Y, which mouse X and mouse Y are P5 variables that tell you where your X and your Y coordinates are of your mouse. And this 2020 is the position of like where you want that text. But that's not important for today. If you're just wondering what, how those numbers are there, that's this text right here. Don't touch that. In fact, let's put a note. Don't touch this. All right? This will tell you where your coordinates are, and that's how it's happening. But let's just do some coding now. So what we're going to do is today, we've always used a graph to do our coding. Today, we're, we're going to lose the graph, and we're just going to look at something and try to code it ourselves. So we have two images that we're going to use today. The first one is this. Here's a picture of a triangle that I coded earlier. Let's see if we could recreate this, but we don't have a grid. All right? So remember, a triangle has three points, and we just have to tell the computer the three points that we want to give it. So we start with like this, just triangle, and we're going to go like that. Now we have to say, what are the three vertices or the three corners of this triangle? Now, we're not going to know exactly where we are, but let's just observe this, OK? Let's just take a look here. It looks like. It, it has one in this bottom corner over here, all right? So let's put our mouse in that bottom corner and then just see what that coordinate is. So let's move it over here. And so I'm gonna move my mouse down to this bottom left-hand corner and let's see what the coordinate is. And the coordinate is whatever. I mean, I know it's about 1, 397. See if you get it exact, it doesn't really make a difference, but anywhere in this vicinity will be fine. So 1, 398. It's close enough, all right? We're just estimating. There's no right answer. It just has to be in the area of where we want it. So 1, 398 is our first point. Now let's look for, again, where we want to go. So this one looks like another coordinate over here. It looks like it's like a little less than halfway through the screen, right? So we want to go like a little less than half, and it's already at the bottom. So we go a little less than half, and all the way at the bottom is like right here. And we just look at the number again. It's 185, 399. Great, we'll use that one number. 185, 399, 185, 399. And then let's look at the third point, it's up here. Once again, it looks like it's a little bit more than halfway down the screen and totally to the left. So we're gonna take our mouse and move it a little bit more than halfway down the screen and all the way to the left. And it's zero, let's put whatever. It does, like I said, there's no right answer. Zero, 224. Oops, zero. 224. Press play, and you see you get this black uh, triangle right there. And let's change the color because I think that was like a more of a, a yellowish. So we'll do like 255. Yeah, 250. And the color is, you'll need to color picker for that. And look, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Now there's a little annoying gap over here. If you really want to fix it up, you could change that to zero. Okay. That, that moves it a little bit off. And you want to see the little gap over here. We can move that point down a little bit. This is this is probably move the point right there. You can mess with the numbers a little bit. Looks a little bit nicer. But really, we had the triangle there. That was it. Really, all we're doing is we're looking at something and trying to recreate it. And this is a really good representation of it, right? We're just kind of like using our mouse to find the points. So that's it. That's really today's lesson. Uh, if you want and you got it, move on. 
Let's just do one more shape. I want to try this one. So I'm going to actually delete this out. Goodbye. Um, I'm going to give this a color of, of blue. Uh, okay. And then we're going to make this shape. So once again, let's use quad for this one. It's a four-sided shape, right? So it has four sides. And so we're going to go here. I'm going to say quad. And we got to give it four points this time. So once again, it's the same thing. So like we just look about where the points are. So the first one's the top left corner. So I'm going to put one right here. Top left corner. That's at 1, 1. So I do 1, 1. Like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. It's just like we're estimating. Now over here, it looks like you're like, it doesn't look like it's like, you know, like if this is the whole screen, it looks like it's just down a little bit. Like, let's see, it's like down like maybe like a fourth of the screen. And then it looks like it's about halfway through. So it's about fourth and halfway through. So let's go. So it's like halfway down and then like over here, right? That looks good. 207.80. Good. Just use those numbers. Don't think too hard about it. Just use the numbers you see. Now the next one looks like it's about a little more than halfway down, but like directly underneath here. So we'll just go straight down from there, like the halfway point and down. So let's go over here and it's like half, a little more than halfway. Mm, that's like a little bit more than halfway, right? So 210, 234. Great, that's our third point. And the last one, we move over here. So it's all the way to the left and still a little bit less left down. So, okay, so like here, uh, and like all the way over here. So, 1, 2, 31. Press play, and it's pretty close. Anybody you're saying it's not exact, but that's fine. You're trying to estimate what it's like. If you really want to like, dive in deep and like figure out like, oh, how do I like straighten this line out because this one's straighter? Just remember your Y coordinate should be the same on these last two points. So if this is 234, this should be 234, right? Because you want the same Y coordinate on your last ones, that'll straighten out. But that doesn't really matter as long as you have an estimate of what you want to do. And that's it. Just feel free to like estimate and like play around with the numbers. That's really the key. Um, it's not about being right. It's about being close. I know that sounds weird in computer science, but this is like an artistic endeavor. We're just trying to get close to what we want to do. All right, that's it. Can't wait to see all the pop. This opens up the world of possibilities. You don't need a grid now. Can't wait to see what you make.